The following program contains shocking amounts of primary sources. If you suffer from addiction to rumours, this show might not be right for you. Check with your cheerleading captain. Standing for truth in the four corners of America. Fighting for justice on the frontiers of the culture wars. And turning resistance into an art form. The only TV host arrested more times than Mahatma Gandhi, Randall Terry. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Voice of Resistance. I'm here at the Durant Daily Democrat, where I just did an interview. We've got to go to McAllister now for another interview. Come on, let's go. All righty, we're on our way. Yep, going on to the next stop up at McAllister. We're going to be talking today about Rick Santorum losing in two states. We're going to be talking about me, what I'm doing here in Oklahoma. I'm not saying that I'm my favorite subject. I'm just saying I'm a valid subject. And we're going to take you inside of a radio studio where I did an interview this morning on the largest news talk station in the entire state of Oklahoma. It was fun. And I was with a man who's got his head screwed on straight. So all that and much more in today's program. Today's program brought to you in part by a crazy senator from Oklahoma. Yeah, she's making a lot of headlines because she is so obscene. And by Ann Coulter. Yes, Ann Coulter, because she's coming to speak for me. I'll be right back after a quick and funny word from one of my funny friends. Don't go away. Hi, welcome back to the ranch, folks. I got to tell you, I am so stinking proud of them GOP candidates because you know the Republican Party is the pro-life party. I mean, I want you to take a close look at the last dozen or so GOP nationally televised debates. Now, if you look really closely, you're going to hear that they are up there defending them babies, always talking about the unborn. Oh, no, wait. No, oh, uh, that was a dream, wasn't it? That's right, I think I only heard them talk about the unborn like twice in the last two months. Hey GOP, you're going to be fighting against the Democrats. I think them schoolgirls are going to whoop your butt. I've been running down the road trying to loosen my load. I've got seven papers on my mind. Yeah, we're up to about ten papers now. Day three of a five-day media tour. We'll hit about 25 cities. All right, let's talk about the Republicans. Rick Santorum loses Arizona big time. That was a massive victory for Romney. Romney squeaked out by four points in Michigan. A couple significant things. Number one, because it is a proportional state, Santorum will get delegates. So it's not a huge defeat for him, and it's really not a huge victory for Romney. But more interestingly for Santorum, if you saw his speech, he basically went after Ron Paul's base for the future. For the first time, I heard him talk about taking all federal entitlements, all, A-L-L, -L, all federal entitlements, and phasing them out and putting them into the hands of the states. He even took a little copy of the Constitution out of his pocket and waved it around. He's going after Ron Paul's base. Their thinking is, Ron Paul's people know he's not going to win. Who do they want to go to? Well, let's entice them using some of Ron Paul's rhetoric over entitlement reform. All right, Super Tuesday's coming up. Newt has got to do really well somewhere besides Georgia, okay? If he wins Georgia, the media will say, well, he's from Georgia, he was going to win that, it's no big deal. He's got to carry other states, or he is done being able to raise serious money. So, Centaurum is going to stick it out because he is the non-Gingrich, non-Romney, all right? Ron Paul is going to stick it out because he's a libertarian. There is a substantive difference with Ron Paul and the other candidates. Clearly, Romney's not going anywhere, and he's got the most fundraising capabilities right now. So from my vantage point, either Gingrich does something incredible to keep himself alive and to take this perhaps all the way to the convention, where we'd have a brokered convention, or Gingrich does really poorly, Santorum does really well, and keeps his hope alive, or Romney could just sweep everything, which I don't think is likely, but if he did, that would propel him 
much further down the path. So it's going to be a wild week for the Republicans. Now, let's switch to the Democratic side. President Obama is facing stiff opposition from a very articulate and somewhat handsome television show host. <laughs> Who would that be? Me. We are here in Oklahoma campaigning hard. We've run a lot of television ads. We're distributing a lot of literature. We're getting an enormous amount of newspaper coverage. Maybe I'll get 5% of the vote. Maybe I'll get 10, maybe I'll get 15. The truth of the matter is we just don't know. The lower the voter turnout in the Democratic primary, the more it helps me. Because people who are motivated to vote and to send Obama a message are going to come out and support my campaign. All I can tell you is I have been genuinely shocked at the visceral level of anger at the president from Democrats. All right, I'm going to take you inside of a radio studio here in Oklahoma City where I was this morning. And uh, we'll break it up into two segments. We'll give you the first half now, do the second half after the break. So I'll see you in the second segment of the show just before the second segment of this interview. Andrew, did I get that right? Okay, here I am. the voice of the one who speaks out for the ones without a voice. That is Randall Terry, who happens to be in studio here. How, well, what brings you here to Oklahoma, Randall? I'm looking for votes. Are you? I am looking for votes. I'm here to ask for the honor and the privilege of your Democratic listeners voting for me on March the 6th in the primary against President Obama. How about that? Let me tie this music up real quick here. you That's you. You wrote. You played, you sang, yes, yes. and you worked with a very special band that I've loved all my life. Uh, the Ronnie, Ronnie Millsap's touring band. Uh, Mr. Millsap did not play on the album, but his band did. Yeah. And just some of the best musicians you'll ever hear. It was one of my great privileges in life. I took a sabbatical about 10 years ago and wrote two albums and cut two albums in Nashville. It took a lot of time and money, but they came out They came out pretty good. It great. Was a lot of fun. Sounds great. Thank Sounds you. Sounds great. Okay, so the, why the Democratic ticket? The, the Democratic Party has a lot of evangelicals and Catholics and conservatives, Baptists, who feel very disenfranchised. They don't like the direction that the National Party is going in. Uh, many of them are upset with the president. And I thought that it would be a good use of my time to be a candidate in the Democratic primary to allow those people to have a voice. So if somebody is in Oklahoma and they're seeing the, what the administration is doing, if they're upset about the Keystone Pipeline, if they're upset about abortion, if they're upset about the uh, Health and Human Service regulations, I provide a vehicle for them to express their discontent. I'll be the messenger boy, go into the booth, click Randall Terry, and it sends President Obama a message. Now, this is not the first state where you've been on the ballot. That's correct. Um, it's hard to get on the ballot in every state. Yes. Uh, I mean, just because they're all different. Some of them have goofy, you know, whatever. The laws are crazy in some But states. are you primarily concentrating maybe in the southern states where you have pro, a lot of more pro-life people, or, or are you going I, other places? I have been on the ballot in Missouri. New Hampshire, Iowa, I'll be on the ballot in New Jersey. Um, Oklahoma is the first state that I have campaigned vigorously. And I'll be honest with you, Rita, as you know, more people are Democrat in this state than Republican. Mm -hmm. But the, the Democrats of Oklahoma are more conservative and Christian than the Republicans of New York or Massachusetts. Yeah. So I stand a very good chance to get 10 or 15 percent of the vote here, it's, it's possible that I could carry some counties. So if I, um, if I spend time, which I, we're, we're on, there's five of us on the ground, we're traveling all over, some of your listeners have actually gotten our literature already, some of them have seen my commercials on TV, I'm all in here. I'm, I'm campaigning hard and, and again, uh, for those of you who, who don't know me, I'm Randall Terry. Uh, I've been a pro-life leader for over 25 years, and I'm, I, I'm asking for the honor of having your vote on March the 6th in the Democratic primary. 
let me uh, bring up a couple of issues here. Well, it's the same issue, but it's a couple of pieces of legislation. The personhood. Law. I'm a huge fan. Okay. But in my opinion, the best thing going on in the pro-life movement today is the personhood movement. The personhood movement. Um, this is basically saying that life begins at conception. Right. Um, big protest yesterday at the state capitol <laughs> against this. Uh, it was... Now, you are no stranger. I mean, going back to your Operation Rescue days, there, you are no stranger to the lengths that the opposition will go to. Craziness. Some of the bizarre things. I'm going to hand you a photo here Alrighty. of a state senate sitting state senator from Tulsa and uh, I know you're a broadcaster so you won't read that out loud but that there is one of the words we ain't allowed to say on the air yes I can't say uh, that word this is uh, a lady who's a state senator in Oklahoma who has she's holding a sign and it says if, if I wanted a senator well if, if I wanted the government between what was it between? Yeah, if I, if I wanted the government in my womb, I'd blank a senator. Yeah. This is a duly elected state senator from Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, holding this thing up. I mean, it's just utter craziness that the left goes to. A lot of the ladies showed up yesterday in aprons. Just um, aprons? Well, no. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> but the, this is a fur protest. The song we just played, you were talking about <laughs> untying that apron and stepping away from the stove. So <laughs> I think you read their minds on this, but uh. um, they don't want you to touch them. That's the thing. Uh, they, they're, you know, it's the old. Well, you know, at the end of the day, either this thing in the uterus is human or non human. Let's just break it down. It's either human or non-human. Is it a carrot, a puppy? Is it a goat? What, what do we have yeah. in this uterus? Is it human or non-human? If it's alive and it's growing, it's something. And if, if it is human, then being human being, being a human being, is enough to be protected. And that is my message as a pro-life activist, that we, all of us used to be in our mommy's womb, all of us used to be a fetus, but we were us. Yeah. And then these babies deserve a voice. All right. Um, website, real quick. We've got to take a break. We're going to bring you back. Great. TerryForPresident.com, T E R R Y. People can uh, go there. Contact us. If you want to help me hand out literature, I need help. Want to make a campaign contribution, be honored to have that. Okay. Very good. If my cloud has a silver lining, it's only to store electricity for the lightning. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I've been making superb nutritional supplements for over 15 years, and from day one, I've partnered with Randall Terry, helping to fund his invaluable work in reclaiming our country's biblical and godly roots. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives since its inception. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine essential areas of nutrition your body needs on a daily basis. Each serving of the Total Living Drink provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, enzymes for better digestion and nutrient absorption, protein for building lean muscle mass so you can burn more fat for fuel, probiotics for better intestinal function, herbs for building energy and stamina, antioxidants for maximum immune function and disease prevention and all the vitamins and minerals you need for slowing down aging and maximum health. You would have to take 30 to 40 capsules each day and spend almost $10 a day to match the over 30,000 milligrams of total nutrition in each scoop of the Total Living Drink. Order right now and get started on the amazing Total Living Drink. They come in two delicious flavors, Total Living Drink Greens and Total Living Drink Berry. And every single dollar we receive, we give a generous amount to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Visit us online at the address on your screen and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today, and for the daily price of a latte, you can get back on the road to better health and energy with Kylea's Total Living Drink.
waiting for the sun. Yes, that's what we're all doing. But in the meantime, we're gonna watch a little more Randall Terry. Am I right? Yes. Ah! Welcome back to the program, friend. Here's part two of our in-studio interview this morning in Oklahoma City. Time is 644 News Radio 1000 KTOK. You got Mullins here with Randall Terry in studio, who is making his way across how many cities? A couple of dozen cities here in Oklahoma? Yeah, we'll be 25, 26 cities this week. Randall is on the ticket for Super Tuesday and the Democratic Party and uh, running for president. You know, that I was talking to one of our uh, Democratic. He's not a party official, but he's been in the party a long time, and he says the way it works is if you get a certain percentage, then you get percentage of delegates. Fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. Yep. So you've been doing six, seven percent in some other states. If you can get up to fifteen percent, you're going to have a presence later on. I'd be thrilled. I would be thrilled. And, you know, for the, for the sake of the Democrats who are listening and are pondering whether or not they want to vote for me or for President Obama or just stay home, first of all, let me... Let me lay your fears aside. I will not be the Democratic nominee. <laughs> I will not beat President Obama. My purpose in this is to expose some of President Obama's more liberal policies and to also be uh, a voice for, for energy independence. Reed, as you, you and I were talking off air, I have a master's degree in diplomacy and international terrorism. Yes. I take foreign policy very seriously. And the, the long story short is, every time we go to the gas pump, we are funding terrorism. We are paying, literally, for our soldiers and our civilians to be attacked, to be killed, to be kidnapped, because, poor, because Saudi Arabia is either the second or the third largest supplier of our oil, depends on the year, but they're also the largest financier of terrorism in the world. More, I mean, look at the 9-11. Most of these guys were Saudis. Yep. So my attitude is put in the, the pipeline, drill in Anwar, frack the shale in the Dakotas, put in wells on the east and west coast of Florida and in the Gulf, drill off the coast of California, Portland, and Oregon, any place we can find oil, and have every drop of oil that we get come from this hemisphere. Then, number one, we're not funding terrorism. And number two, we drive the price of gas back down to near $2 a gallon. We create hundreds of thousands of jobs. And that money stays in America instead of being shipped over to godless sheiks and tyrants who have ill will to us. God blessed us in this land with all those resources to yes, use. Yes, that's right. And we're We've got them. So if, if people in Oklahoma want to send a message to the president about his energy policy, and they're, they're not happy that he's committing suicide on the installment plan. <laughs> he's leading America down a path of suicide on the installment plan with our oil policy. If they want to send him a message, please vote for me on March 6th in the Democratic primary. And okay. I am Randall Terry. I've got two minutes left. Okay. Israel, Iran, what would you do? Uh, I would... If my foreign policy is that Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. I would destroy all of the locations where we think that those weapons are. Israel wants to strike Iran. Would you help them? I, well, they're our ally. The, I would. Israel has made an announcement yesterday that they will not tell us when they're going to do it. And the reason they won't is because, number one, we'll leak it. We'll start moving our embassies. We'll still, there'll start to be heavy activity in our embassies, and it'll trigger a, a spy network to know that Israel's about to strike. And possibly some of our people in the State Department would tell their operatives in Iran. So Israel was smart to say, look, if we move, we're moving without your prior knowledge and without your consent. But absolutely, Iran must not be permitted to get nuclear weapons. Because and Pakistan has to be, at some point, those, those nuclear arms there are a great threat to us. Absolutely. You know, all you got to do is put those nuclear warheads on ten boats, drive them off five cities on the east coast, five cities on the west coast. You don't have to have a missile. Mm -hmm. Put them on an oil tanker. Mm -hmm. Detonate them on the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've wreaked havoc. And uh, it is... A lot of people don't even want to think about it because it's just too scary. But it is something we have to face. And I'm, I'm afraid that we're just... I'll give, you, I'll give it to you in a bumper sticker. 
Jesus Christ died to start Christianity. Mohammed killed to start Islam. And so that's why Islamic terrorism is so intense with them because it actually is a religious right. And they and and they believe that they're doing God a service to kill infidels and even to die in the process of killing infidels. And we're going to take another break. I've got a couple of minutes left for you if you want to wrap up here in just a second. I need to stay with you through. Is that okay? I'd love to. We'll get you some more. The, uh, man, I, the man has some good coffee here. I was going to say, right we'll get now. you some more of that newsroom coffee there. <laughs> High octane. 6.50 now. Time is 6.54. Wrapping up with Randall Terry. How do we get a hold of you, sir? Terryforpresident.com. Terryforpresident.com. We have Ann Coulter coming this weekend up at Arrow Heights Baptist Church in Tulsa. If someone wants to drive on up. Broken Saturday Arrow, night. actually. Yeah, Broken yep, Arrow. Broken Arrow. Um, and I, again, I'm asking for people's vote. In the March 6th primary, Democratic primary, I'm running against President Obama. Please, I ask for the honor of your vote. I'm Randall Terry. Very good. Thank you so much. Honor to have you on. The pleasure's mine, sir. Thanks Man, for having just me. great guy. And thank you for all your work for speaking out for those who can't. 6.55, time now for Oklahoma's First News. All right. Well, bam, thank you, ma'am. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun doing interviews like that. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Yeah, we're coming through town. Got any questions? We're on our way. There's a new sheriff in town. It ain't me. <laughs> Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. I have no fear of the future. Let us go forward into its mysteries. Let us tear aside the veils which hide it from our eyes. And let us move onward with confidence and courage. Sir Winston Churchill. Welcome back, friend. I want to ask you to Google my name in the news. Use any search engine you like. And truly take a look at what we're doing. You can go to my presidential website, terryforpresident.com. You can see some of the comments Ann Coulter is making about me. Ann Coulter is coming here to Tulsa, Oklahoma to campaign for me for my presidential run here in Oklahoma. Hopefully we will be able to send Obama a message. There's a lot of Democrats in this state that are very unhappy with him. A lot of Catholics, Evangelicals, Baptists. It's funny, the Democrats in Oklahoma are more conservative than the Republicans in New York and Massachusetts. We're having a lot of fun. I truly ask you for your prayers. I'll be right back with a word from one of our founders. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me in thy strength. For strangers have risen up against me, and the mighty have sought after my soul, and they have not set God before their eyes. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. 
Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. Abraham Lincoln said, to sin by silence when they should protest makes cowards of men. As you know, I'm here in Oklahoma and I have been talking to clergy. One clergyman that I spoke to said he loved what I was doing. He wanted to publicly embrace me and endorse me, but he was afraid of his church losing their tax exempt status. He chose, and he is choosing, to be silent. And I submit to you that the words of Abraham Lincoln are true. If we hold our tongue, if we sin by silence, when we should be protesting loudly, vigorously, defending religious liberty, defending human life. If we hold our tongues, it turns us into cowards. And I submit to you, friend, cowardice is the handmaid of tyrants. Let's not be cowards. Let's lift up our voices and proclaim the truth. God bless you.